Hi everybody, welcome to day six of the Daily December Art Challenge. Today is stocking. So we're gonna get out my insert that I'm using for this. And day six, stocking. Uh, we have a little girl here sitting with us. So we'll see how well this will progress. Um, there's day one, day two, day three, day four, day five. <laughs> Those turned out so fun. And we will do day six right here. Let me get out my clip. I think I would have this stuff already. At least I have it in pouches ready to go. And we'll probably just do it on one page today. Make sure it's inked up. Make sure she doesn't get in the way because she do sometimes. There we are, December 6th. We'll get a pencil and eraser out. And we said today was stocking. There we go, stocking. So when I think of stockings, I think of, you know, the ones that you see in those old, like Norman Rockwell type photos where they're just, you know, hanging in front of a fireplace. Um, I really wasn't sure what I was gonna do for today, but I did do like a little, like when people think of a stocking, they think of just like a red stocking in front of a fireplace. So I was thinking of maybe just, I, I don't know. I don't want it to be too complicated because you know, this is just supposed to be for fun. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna draw a couple of stockings. And you know, they just have that basic sock-like shape. You might not be able to see this. And I wonder, I'm gonna see if I can find my cola erase pencils. I'm wondering if this might be better so you can see the lines <laughs> that I'm drawing. I've had these for a long time and I just, I never use them. So let's see, this is Carmine. What color was this one? Vermilion, that's more orange. So, let's do this now. This way you might be able to see it. So that's like, you know, your basic, typical stocking. I wonder, let's do a couple of stockings in fun colors. This one is, it says purple. <laughs> so let's do another stocking. They're just really simple. It's just a, a rectangle for the little top part that gets folded down. And then 
just make it look kind of foot-ish shaped. <laughs> Another color. Oh, no, 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 no. How about a pretty green? We've got light green, and I think there's a dark, there's the green green. Um, we'll try this green. Do another rectangle to be the top of the stocking. And these can be probably the husband. These can be as big or as small as you want. And the coal erase, they do erase, but um, not like 100%. And let's do one more with this darker green just to kind of see. Oh, we need to put the little tag on because we gotta hang it from something. Yeah, this is more like a hunter green because it's got like a little bit of blue in it. And we're just drawing basic stocking. Now, we've got our aqua brush. And if you use just a little bit of paint or a little bit of a pigment, you, you know, can, you know, maintain water pretty well in one of these. And again, I've got my same piece of paper towel because you don't need that much when you're using these Viviva sheets. So the first color we're gonna do is we're gonna go with the crimson because that's like red, red. When I think of like a Christmas red or a holiday red, that's the color I think of. So we're gonna pick up a little bit of that. And we're gonna try and color in this bottom part. And also using these Viviva watercolor sheets. This is not sponsored. I bought these with my own money when they first came out. Uh, when they first came out, they were a um, like a Kickstarter type of a thing. Um, I can't remember if it was Kickstarter, Indiegogo, or whatever it was. There we go. And we're gonna get a little red up there. Now this one was like a purpley color, and I haven't decided, do we want to do violet or magenta? Let's do violet. That'll be a nice, pretty, pretty color. The husband has a, um, my parents got him a purple stocking somewhere. This is kind of a, um, it says violet, but it's a little bit, it goes on a little bit lighter. I think it's more like a, um, lavender-y, lilac-y, wisteri <laughs> color. We'll let that dry. 
dry. It'll, let me put a second coat down. Now for the green, we've got two greens in here. We have the light green, which we'll use for this one. So it'll be a really fun kind of a chartreuse color. Yeah, like a yellow green. I know this is different um, content than you're used to seeing from me. You're used to seeing no spend, low spends. You're used to seeing unboxings. And I'm trying to move away from that because with everything that's happened the last few years, I know that things are hard on so many people. I mean, they've, this last few years have been really challenging for me, physically, mentally, emotionally, um, and also, you know, economically with the symphony not playing for almost a year. Um, it, it was a challenge for sure. Um, and so I, I want to show people that you can plan, that you can, you know, make yourself a cute little insert and you can have fun doing little prompts like this. Um, there were so many, so many. I did a little bit of research to see like, you know, how many art, you know, December art, uh, challenges there have been, and you will not believe the number that I discovered. There were so, so many, and, you know, there's so many free resources. You don't have to have the best, you know, you don't have to have all Daniel Smith's or St. Petersburg watercolors, um, or even Viviva. You can have just a little set that you can get at Michael's, Joann's, Hobby Lobby that are, you know, very reasonably priced. You don't have to spend a lot of money to plan or to art. Use what you have. That's what I'm doing. I thought of like getting some new watercolored pencils and I was like, John, you have, you know, a set of like I think 72 plus a couple of sets of the the primas I don't need any more <laughs> watercolor pencils um, I mean yes it would be wonderful to have the Faber Castell Albert Dürer but I've decided I am not gonna get those until I have used my Primas and I have used a lot of my Arteza. And just because of that, it means I'm gonna have them for a long time because it, you can't go through 72 <laughs> watercolor pencils overnight. And this is how you can tell this is um, mixed media paper because it it can only hold so much water it's not you know watercolor paper there so there are my stockings what i want to do is yeah that one i want to kind of Oh, I didn't do the tags. Let's do those tags. I'm like, why do they look so different? <laughs> it's because I didn't do. Let's do the light one first. Pick up some paint on the tip of the brush. 
And see, I'm hardly using any water whatsoever. I'm just using the water that gently comes out or is left over in the tip. There we go. Ooh, we need to prevent the kitty roll. <laughs> I'm going to let this dry and then we'll be back to finish them up. Okay, they're getting dry. So we'll start with the one that we did first. And all I'm going to do is kind of trace around. And this just helps to, uh, it must be the husband. It's about his break time. I should have known to turn my <laughs> ringer off or put it on airplane mode. So I'm just outlining just to kind of give it a little bit of shape. I think we had done most of this one. Just to give it a little bit of fun shape. And one more here. It kind of got away from me <laughs> the blob it, it's become a green blob of a sock and that's okay all we want to do is have fun with the supplies that we have to use. So there we are. Day six stocking. And you can make these any way you want. If you wanted to, you know, draw a wonderful fireplace and hang some stockings and have a Christmas tree in the background, go right ahead. You know, use your imagination however you want. I just thought I would draw a little quartet of stockings, one for me, one for the husband, one for the baby boy, and one for the baby girl. <laughs> okay, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.